Hello friends, I'm Dragonate and welcome to another Dragonate Reading Your Answers video. Last week I asked you, uh, do you ever feel like you are, you have no time? And if so, do you know why and uh, what do you do about it and that kind of thing? You guys answered and I'll be reading your answers in this video. But before we get started, we need a new question for this week. I was thinking of a little bit different kind of a question this time. Um, rather than, you know, you guys answering some kind of question, uh, how about you guys tell me about something that happened recently. It can be small, it can be big, I don't care. You can you can leave a summary of a post in a sentence or you can, you know, tell me a story. Uh, but just tell me about something that happened recently that you saw or that you did or that you experienced that uh, evoked some kind of emotion in you. I'm not going to say something that just made you happy or something positive, uh, but something that evokes some kind of emotion emotion in you, regardless of what that emotion is. Tell me about something that evoked a, an emotional response. There. <laughs> that's your question. And now, that's since we got that out of the way, let's uh, see what you guys answered for last week's question. Again, I apologize about my chair. So do you guys feel like you're out of time? Madshot says, great vid, thank uh, glad to see more of your stuff. Thank you, I appreciate it, Madshot. Uh, I've been lazy on uploads as well with life. In the way which ties into this question of time, I don't have enough time to focus on YouTube as I'd like to. Working 50 to 60 hour work weeks, which is a lot. Like here, a regular work week is only 40 hours, I think. So that's a heck of a lot of overtime. Uh, making me exhausted on top of life stuff. I feel once I have my own place, hopefully in a few months, I can make more time for it. I'm hopeful and I can't wait for YouTube to be able to be able to be a full-time job as someday. Jeez, I cannot read. It's a dream at least I'm willing to chase. And I say, go chase your dream. My mom says, I guess if I feel like I have no time, I get anxious, which doesn't help. But I do try to prioritize and get the more important stuff done first. Yes, life can get in the way, but try not to dwell on what didn't get done. I know easier said than done. Absolutely. But I've come to realize you can only do what you can do and tomorrow is another day. And I try to remind myself of that every day, which hopefully works out. Tia Lisa says, LOL all the time. Part of my anxiety since I feel like I'm always forgetting stuff. Not really, again, the anxiety. Listing things helps. Uh, sometimes cleaning can help me get the nerves worked out. If I had a pool nearby, that would take the place of cleaning. Have a good one. Hope you feel better ASAP. Thank you. I know I, I used to, uh, that notebook that I that I wrote some, some, uh, so, th that I write some notes and stuff in sometimes. I have used, uh, let's see here, like six pages of the thing <laughs> to just write down in like point form everything that's like on my mind and I'm just writing it like super quickly as well so like my writing looks like this. I don't know if you guys can even like try to try to d whatever decipher any of that. <laughs> Benny says, yeah, every day. Too much homework and other stuff for my life. Wish I could meet my friends more often than now. And I'm sure you will have time uh, at, at some point. I, I know with school, uh, things become a little hard because you have a lot of homework and uh, everything regarding that. So that's unfortunate, but uh, unfortunately, it's a thing that everyone has to do. I went through it as well. And uh, yeah, you will, you will, uh, yeah, you'll get time otherwise afterward. Mitsu says, feeling of having no time, that's my life. I had no free weeks during summer, and at the moment I have all coming weeks basically booked up to the end of this month. That's a lot. <laughs> I guess, you know, being busy isn't a bad thing either. Just uh, don't let yourself get stressed out by it, I guess. And uh, take breaks if you feel, if you start feeling like you need it, you know? DLT Dav always has not enough time, so he's what he's trying to do, he's trying to reverse engineer a clock so he gets more time in the day. I think that's pretty awesome. You go ahead, Mr. Genius You, and uh, don't forget to come back and uh, and uh, g give me one as well, or you know, let let me in on on the secret on the technology when you when you figure that out. All right. In the meantime, though, good luck to ya. And Funny Fluffy says, I always feel like I have no time, but I usually try to focus on one thing at a time and write down the other stuff so I don't forget. Hope you're doing all right, though. Thank you. I am. Don't worry. Uh, and again, the list thing actually definitely does help. And I think what I'm going to start doing anyway, I'm going to start using this notepad again. And uh, literally just before I go to bed or, you know, something, maybe if things are just getting a little too much at, at, a, at a point, I will just start writing everything down in point form 
uh, everything that's bothering me and stuff. So, uh, because it did help before. It definitely did help before. I guess I kind of just stopped because maybe I felt like I had no time to do that. <laughs> also, I don't know. But lately, I have been having that uh, feeling of not having time for anything. And for the most part, it's kind of my own fault because I'm either wasting time or it's in regards to sleeping where I'm sleeping too much or not enough or something. But uh, usually I don't start feeling that to, that um, pressure or anything, any anxiety or anything until it's like, it, unless something has a deadline and it's getting close to that deadline. That's when I start feeling the pressure, feeling the anxiety. Learn time management, better time management skills. I mean, I'm, I'm not... I'm not too bad. There were a couple weeks ago where I felt like I was I was uh, playing too many games because uh, my friend just got me a, a game and so we were playing together a lot and uh, I felt like I was playing too much of it but I was still getting everything done that I needed and wanted to get done. So that wasn't even an issue which was surprising for me actually because that doesn't usually happen. Uh, but now it's i don't know it, there's more stuff there's stuff with work and 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 other stuff so that stuff's all kind of eating up a lot of my energy and time and stuff but either way we'll figure it out uh that's it don't forget your question for this week though what is something that happened to you recently that evoked an emotional response i know that sounds a little bit more more deep than it really needs to be j j just tell me about something that happened to you recently or that you experienced that you saw that you witnessed whatever that uh that made you feel something happiness anger sadness i don't know tell me about that in the comments below and i'll read them next week thank you all so much for watching again thank you for your participation and your answers and i guess that's it for for this video so yeah i'll see you guys again very very soon have a wonderful day bye bye and god bless